Hi, this is Mobile Video Editing. Version 7.4 of VideoShop introduced a new feature called Pinning, which is basically motion tracking. In this video, the text has been pinned to the swing. Notice how the text moves with the swing and it is also responsive to the movements of the camera as it pans left and right. I'll show you how pinning is implemented in VideoShop and then I'll share with you some ideas of how further enhance the effect in LumaFusion. So let's get started. We start in VideoShop with the footage already placed in the video track. Start by adding some text. The pinning feature seems to pin the text to the part of the video just below it. You want the text to be pinned to the subject, but not to obstruct it. To overcome that, add one or two line breaks before the text as shown. Position and resize the frame of the text to cover the subject that you want to track. Make sure that the written part of the text is just below the subject. Click on the pinning button and accept. VideoShop will pin the text to the subject in the video. One thing to notice is that VideoShop embeds the text into the video. Once the text has been pinned, it can't be edited or moved any longer. Your only option is to undo and start over. Once your video is done, you can export it to the camera roll and then import it and keep working on it in LumaFusion. In this example, I used the masking technique that I covered in one of my previous tutorials to hide part of the text behind a rock. Link for the masking tutorial will be in the description of this video. In this second example, the fourth color of the text is green, and in LumaFusion, using chroma key, the green color is replaced with a video. So this is it for this episode. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to this channel, give it a like and click on the bell so you're notified when I post new videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.